guys and welcome back to my channel. If you want to know how to DIY your own photo backdrop, just stay tuned and keep watching. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I DIY my YouTube videos or my photo shoots that I have in my home. So sitting right behind me is a yellow tablecloth. That's right, it is a tablecloth from the Dollar Tree. Came in a package just like this. This is 54 inches by 108 inches. And um, I have it attached to a PVC pipe that is sitting on two command hooks. I took the tablecloth outside of the bag. I folded it over the piece fold it over just like this. I put two clamps on the end and then I inserted the PVC pipe through the top. And then I just set the pipe on top of the two command hooks. I'll give you a closer look here. I'm sorry. So here is the actual top of my backdrop. You can see the PVC pipe hanging out from the sides. So the actual tablecloth is 51 inches across and then we have some extra. So this is pro probably a pipe that is either 58 or 60 inches and it's a half an inch in width and I just took some clips that I spray painted that one I spray painted gold to hold it and the other one is actually spray painted too to hold it up and it is so easy to come off it's literally just resting on a command hook and then all I have to do is just set it back and voila so that's way number one that you can do your own DIY backdrop now I just showed you a white one and that white one is pretty see-through it's kind of thin so depending on the color of your original wall you may want to double up on the tablecloth this one here is yellow which was pretty thick and so that you really can't see it now the wall behind me my actual wall is a latte color as you can see and so it and so that wall right there is is pretty good but if I use the white tablecloth I would actually double the tablecloth and then I would hang it up so another way is, if you've been watching and following my channel, you know that I am a seamstress. And so I have tons of fabric laying around. And so here is a piece of fabric that was gifted to me that is only about a yard. I can't figure out what I'm actually going to do or make out of this, um, but I like it so. And it would definitely make for a cute backdrop. So the only thing I'm gonna do with this is, and I'll actually put this up a little later, I am going to stick two, no, I'm just going to stick four pins on four of the corners so that I'll be able to stretch out the fabric because it is knit. I'm going to stick this into the wall and have it hanging behind me. And then you'll be able to see what that looks like. And here's the backdrop that um, I just showed you, the shimmery silver fabric. And here it is pinned up on the wall and this is how it looks. This is the painter's tape that I was talking about. It's almost like a paper tape. Um, and it doesn't really have a good stick like a scotch tape or a masking tape or even duct tape. Do not duct tape your walls. It will snatch the paint off of your walls. But these are very light, but it doesn't hold for very long. Okay, so here's another example of me using fabric as a backdrop. Now, I know that you can see over on this side um, a portion of the wall over here so you have to be careful if you have props to make sure that you angle your camera and angle your zoom within um, within your lens so I actually didn't move this because I'm actually shooting another video right behind this and I want this up and I don't feel like going back and forth with taking it up and down so what I did with this um, backdrop here this is another fabric this is another type this is cotton so it doesn't stretch and this was also gifted to me so I actually don't have a link sorry guys 
to where I got this fabric from. Okay, so what I did was I just ironed out the fabric, tried to get out as many wrinkles as I could, and then I just took the fabric and I just folded it over the PVC pipe. It's long enough that it'll actually double on its own and hang to the floor. So I didn't have any need for clips or stick pins or tape. It just hung right up there on the on the command hooks. Now, what I do want to advise you is that if you're using command hooks as I did, that you put your command hooks up at least a day before you use them. Reason being is that you want that glue to settle in. Now, it doesn't take off your, your paint. It actually comes off very easily. But you want the glue to settle in so that you don't put a PVC pipe on it and then it just keeps falling for you. So I actually put mine up a day before I actually was going to use it. And then I put up um, the first one that you saw, which was the table, the plastic tablecloth, and I had that up for a few days, and then I moved on to the fabric here. Now, here's another suggestion. You may have a shower curtain that you like and you want to use as a backdrop. The shower curtains actually come with rings, and the PVC pipe will actually fit over the rings. You just have to make sure that the rings can either turn or clear your wall so that it's not um, sticking out or giving you... Um, any or giving you a hard time so that's also another option for you so you can use your actual wall if you have a nice painting um, a nice painted wall you can actually use your wall you can use a tablecloth from the Dollar Tree which is only a dollar the command hooks are two dollars I will look up the PVC pipe and I will leave a link to where you can purchase your PVC pipe from Lowe's and um, as well as as well as the painter's tape that you can get if you're using something light. Um, and that doesn't take off the paint on your walls either. So you have fabric, tablecloth, your actual wall, or you can use a shower curtain. So those are four different things that you can use to do your own DIY background. And if you want a fifth one, you can actually purchase regular pricing background. Here's an example of one of the previous backgrounds that I used in a past video. So I have three of them. I'll leave a link in the description bar down below of the three that I actually purchased in case you're interested. Before you go, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you are a YouTuber or if you take photos. What kind of DIY backdrops have you used in the past or you plan to use in the near future? And then show me some love. Click that link, that button right there, that like, that subscribe button. Then that way you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos and you won't miss a thing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.